So guys, Boo King over here, and now I'm back with another what if. So today's what if is, what if Goku was born as Vegito, and what if uh, Vegeta was born as Gogito? Now, why don't I do this? Some of you guys might say, why don't I do this? What if Goku was born as Gogito, and what if, Go what if Vegeta was born as Vegito? Well, I'm doing the opposite today. Goku would be Vegeta, uh, Goku would be Vegito, and Vegeta would be Gogeta. So, let's get right to it. Now, Vegeta would have been born with a power level of f uh, 60,000. Why that high of power level? Well, Vegeta had the world's biggest potential, even better than the gods of destruction. And Vegeta was really, really, really special. Well, on the other hand, uh, King Vegeta's kid had a power level of 40,000. And his name was Gogeta. Now, Goge Vegeta would have been uh, 10 years older. He would have been the same age as Vegeta. And Gogeta would have been the same age as Vegeta. So they would have been both the same age. Vegeta would have been... Uh, Vegeta would have been three days er B Vegeta would have been born three days uh, earlier than Gogeta because Vegeta is stronger and smarter and better. So yeah. Then one or two years pass and then Raditz is born. Vegeta would have been the older brother. Yes. Now Vegito and Vegeta would get it along really well because their parents, the Bardock and King Vegeta, would have gotten along pretty well as well. They would have a King, uh, King Vegeta and Bardock would have been friends, but somebody else they were best friends with was Perius. There was the squad called Saiyans group. Bardock. Paragus and King Vegeta were all in it, so the the three Dios was in it. King Vegeta would not send Broly away because his son did have a bigger power level than Broly, and it was the son of Paragus. So yeah. Now Vegeta had a lot of potential, so he could go Akari easily and demolish whoever he wanted. He could have, Vegeta would have a lot of forms. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, UI, and Master Saiyan Instinct. But that's going to be for later, not for now. Vegeta would just been a kid for now. Then Vegeta hits 8, and Raditz, is, Raditz hits 6. Vegito. Vegeta, uh, pa uh, oh, and also uh, Vegeta's brother would have not been sent away because Paragus, uh, because King Vegeta would have been a better person and he didn't care what his power level, his son's power level was, even if it was a power level of five, he would just train him to get a power level stronger. So, the five duos would go on. Kakarot, uh, Vegito and his brother, Gogeta and his brother, and Broly on his own. He did have a brother. Sorry, Broly. But then, three more Saiyans were born. One named Kale, the other named Ka... Uh, there would be three Saiyans born. One named Kale, the other named Khalifla, and the third named Kaba. Now, Vegeta would be eight, so he would be eight years older than Kaba, uh, Kaba, Khalifla, and Kale. But Kale and the others were six. They were not born now. Kale, Kaba, and Khalifla were six. And they were a duo on their own. They had all the same power level. Because of Kale and Ka, uh, because of Kaba and Khalifa training to get stronger than Kale. Kale never trained, so Kaba and Khalifa would catch up to her. Now, Plan 
Vegito would be blown up. Kakarot, uh, what am I saying? Vegeta would get to plant Vegeta and see nothing. Vegito's eyes were widened for a moment. Then the others come, and they see Plan Vegeta, all mildly destroyed. And when they look at Vegito, he has no mercy in his eyes. He has a blue aura around him, and that blue aura switches from blue and goes into yellow. Yellow. Vegito will have no mercy. The yellow aura appears, and the Super Saiyan legend is in front of them. Vegeta was so mad that he swore to his parents he could he would defeat Frieza, and that came. Vegeta's power level was a hundred million because Vegeta, nor in his normal level, was a hundred thousand. And uh, Super Saiyan multiplies it by a hundred times, so that would make Vegeta's power level a hundred million. So, Vegeta would have been unstoppable. Vegeta at a power level in base, hundred thousand, and Super Saiyan, hundred million, can fly. And he had no tail. None of them had tails. Not even Raditz. Not Nappa. Nobody that was in that ship had a tail. They were the last remaining Saiyans. Not even Paragus survived. They were. Uh, it was just them. And Kale, Khalifa, and Kaba were in the spaceship as well. Vegito's eyes was white still. He couldn't believe what Frieza has done. And Vegito understand. That Frieza was a true monster, like his father said, these years. Then, he looks at Gogeta. Gogeta is a Super Saiyan, as well as Vegeta. But, Gogeta had control... Gogeta, Gogeta, his eyes were blue, Vegeta's were still white. Vegeta swear Vegito says, I promise you, Father, I will get you back to life somehow, some way, and I will kill that tyrant, Frieza. And then the ship was starting to flow somewhere called Planet Earth. Vegito goes back down, and they land on a planet named Earth. When they get there, Grandpa Gohan grounds tells him to come in. Vegeta would have been polite about it and nice. So he tells Grandpa Gohan what has happened these years. Grandpa Gohan would have said, there's this guy named Piccolo. He's trying to kill us all. Vegito uh, crunches his fist and says, where is he? I will take him down right now. Hey. I can't sense your key or every one of yours power. How are you the strong? Vegito's fist turns blue. Grandpa Gohan thinks that Vegito is going to kill him. Vegito tells him no. Vegito charges the blast and says, This is how I'm going to show you that I am worthy to kill that piccolo guy. Vegito tells them to come all outside. Well, the blast is like a giant big hole that can consume anything in the world. He shoots it and, and the myonates like the whole side of the forest. All the forest was gone. And Vegito said, can that Proved I'm strong enough. Grandpa Gohan is shocked and says, "How are we going to get this back?" Vegito, uh, Vegito moves his finger and it's all back. Vegito says, "Is that enough to tell you that I'm worthy enough?" Yes, but you need a better, uh, you need better um, armor than just whatever 
remember that armor that you're wearing. It's long and it's it's called uh, Vegito says it's called Saiyan armor and I don't really like it as well. Vegeta Gogeta says yes, I don't like it either. So they go, Vegeta gets this blue cool dress and Gogeta gets the fusion uh, armor. The, and Kale and the others uh, do the same thing and everybody has their own gi. Now they leave to destroy King Piccolo. Vegeta arrives and tells King Piccolo to give up now or else you're about to get demonetized. What am I saying? You're about to get destroyed, King Piccolo. King Piccolo laughs and before he can finish and King Piccolo says, you think you can defeat... Um, before I get this sentence, he, he has a hole in his chest and Vegito is still where he is. He is, uh, there's smoke coming out of his hand, and King Piccolo says, but how? Speed, it's called. King Loser, Vegito says, Vegito says, leave. Well, he does leave another world. Before he dies, he spits out her egg. Vegito is disgusted and closes his eyes. Everybody does. Does. And the egg is sent uh, flying. Nobody sees where it's at. They say it's fine. It's nothing. So they say they need to get the train. They go with Kami, and Kami tells them that they did a good job for defeating King Piccolo, how they're super strong. So Kami wants to train them, and tells them to go in the hyperbolic time chamber, and tells them that it's super good. But he needs to upgrade it, because if you stay there for too long, you, will need, you can't get out. Kami upgrades it, and, you, and Kami says that you can go in as long as you want now. Vegito says, okay. Kami gets a lot of food in there and leaves them alone. They go in and it's trained for about 60 years in the time room and 60 uh, days outside. They get out and they have beards and other stuff. They're about to die. But they're not about to die. They're super old. Kami to wish gets Shenron and wishes for them to be as young as they were when they got here. So they would be 16 again. Vegito would be 18. Gogeta would be 18. Raj would be 16. And Broly would have been 17. So, uh, who else would have been 16? Kale, Khalifa, and uh, Kaba. Now, Khalifa and Vegito would have this thing going. Now, Vegito and Khalifa would date. We're gonna date. And Bro and uh, Gogeta and Kale were dating as well. Poor Kaba and Broly. That's not poor anymore. <sighs> Khalifa thought of something. If she was the richest on earth, could she do whatever she wants and don't care about food? She waits one year and then she wishes on the Dragon Balls to be the richest girl on planet earth, even richer than Bulma. Your wish has been granted, Shanron says. They don't have to worry now. Khalifa gets uh, a lot of monies on the floor and a hundred credit cards are on there in front of Khalifa with, a pa uh, with inside of them infinites, all of them, and some of them has even trillions, a hundred million billion trillions in them. Kale Khalifa, Khalifa was the richest on planet Earth. She gets a million, she gets a trillionaire dollar house 
which had a tie room inside of it. And then she waits another year and wishes to be the smartest on planet Earth. Your wish has been granted, and Khalifa was even ten times smarter than Bulma. She was super smart now. She created her own uh, time chamber in the, the in her own house. So here's your, uh, here is uh, Vegeta had access Super Saiyan. Gogeta had access to it, and Vegeta found even beyond Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan two, but he never showed it off. But. I think that they would go up on Frieza and one-shot him because Vegito's power level in base was 140 million because of training for about six years in the time chamber. So there we're going to leave it off today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Blue King, I'll be out. Peace. Have a great day, by the way.